We are a collection of women who love the literature of the African diaspora. It's the literature of any people that have Africa as their root. We meet six times a year at members' homes. I mean, we've covered slavery, we've covered Reconstruction, the Harlem Renaissance. Right now, we're reading books on the post-civil rights era. And just the knowledge that I have been able to gather through the books that we have read has really, really enriched my life. Oh, I have read this book 10 times, and have each you? time I read it, I get something new. Yeah. We have friends who won't come to our meetings because they think we, they say, what are you, in college? You're, you're, you're reading books that are too heavy. We do not just come together to socialize, although that's a very important aspect of it, but we come together to learn and to teach and to grow together. When they come in the room, the first thing we do, we hug. I'm a hugger. You will not come to a bibliophile meeting and not have good food. It's just a requirement. Amen. So after we kind of eat and sit back and relax, then we discuss the book. We don't spend our time with idle gossip. Not at all. Once the, the meeting is underway, it is strictly business and it is the kind of meeting to which you must come prepared or you will be outed. You will out yourself. Set the landscape for us, if you would, Joyce. It was jazz, it was hot, it was sexy, and it was real. We came together 25 years ago when myself and Sheila Baines read a book that just mesmerized us. And we just started talking about the book to each other. And we decided that it was important that we talked about it not just with each other, but with other people. Our book club has deep meaning for me because each time we come together, it is a celebration of recognition of our enslaved ancestors who were deprived from books, deprived from reading, deprived from writing. So each time we come together, we celebrate uh, and we are renewed over and over again and we are reminded of those who came before and the sacrifices they have made to allow us to be the bibliophiles today.